Hi everybody, Mrs. Mancuso with some more chemistry review. Today's topic is entropy. So entropy means disorder. So in nature, things tend to increase in entropy because they tend to become more disorderly. They also tend to decrease in energy over time. So when we think about phases of matter, we have solids, we have liquids, and we have gases. And when we think about entropy, gases would have the most entropy because their particles are very random and scattered. Solids would have the least entropy because they are the most organized, so they do not have disorder. So if you have a reaction, and in that reaction you're going from a solid to a gas, you are increasing your entropy. If instead you were doing the reverse reaction, that would decrease your entropy. Another entropy change is when you're going from free individual molecules to building a larger molecule. So let's say we're making a compound here and we're putting these together. If you are making a compound, a compound is more organized, so you are decreasing in entropy when you are producing compounds. If instead you were doing decomposition and you were breaking something up, that's going to increase the entropy. All right, so entropy again is just the state of disorder, and you can figure out if you are increasing or decreasing entropy by looking at um, either solid liquid gas changes or looking at have you formed compounds or have you broken compounds into free elements. All right, I also want to mention aqueous. Where would aqueous fall on here? So aqueous, we know that term AQ means that it's mixed with water. And so if I've made a mixture, a mixture would fit in right here at this spot because it has more disorder than a liquid since it is a mixture, it's a combination of things, but they're not as spread out as a gas, so it's not as much entropy as a gas. So that's where it would fit in in this lineup. Have a great day.